What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This is how to throw a cast net and also catch the most bait you'll ever catch and then pull right over there and catch as many fish as you've ever caught in one day. Son! Y'all pay attention. I'm going to show you how to do this because it's easier than you think. I take the lead line put it in my mouth. I do about five foot like this. And I come down with my pointer th finger and my thumb and I hold the net just like that. Then I take it one time and go. Whoop. Pancakes for days. Now watch this. Now in one cast, I just got enough bait to go catch as many snook, jacks, mangrove snapper, whatever I want to go catch with those baits. Let's go put them back here in the back. Now, when we first got here, there was a lot more. They're starting to spread out though. That's no big deal. Just watch for pelicans diving. Look for the bait in the water and go cast net them. Let's make one more throw. So I'm gonna start from the beginning this time. I've got the loop around my wrist, just like this. You want everything to be even and untangled. A lot of people ask for cast net style videos because they're wanting to learn. Well, it's a good technique to learn because there's not always bait for sale and you can't always afford bait because sometimes it gets crazy expensive. So I grab it right here by what we call the horn. I reach down to about the middle of the net and I grab it right below my hand. So now I've just folded it up, put it in my mouth flip just like so now I grab my pointer finger and my thumb and I have the line just like so where they are there they are see how far I threw that net that's because I had everything right I know it might seem hard to you but throwing a cast net is very easy just got to get used to doing it. When I get the net up near the boat, I reach down and grab just the horn and I let some line out in my hand and I get it to where all the net bait is down at the bottom of the net. Then I can walk it back to the bait well. You dump it just like that. All right, let's go fishing. That was just that easy. Now, I didn't catch a ton of bait, but we've already got a ton of bait. You get the point on how to throw a cast net. When I go anywhere, I'm always looking for birds diving and that'll indicate that there's bait. And if there's bait, there's gonna be big predator fish nearby. Now that we've caught the bait, let me show you what we're gonna do with the bait. We're not playing baseball, are we? Nope, not today. Look at that. What are you gonna do with that? I don't know. Looks appetizing. <laughs> Jake, you better get your bait in there. Oh, look at the fish already busting. Oh. 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 Look at the fish. All right, so all we're using is these little baits you just watched us catch. I'm hooking them right through their nose, right through the nose, just like that with a 40 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Watch this. This is how easy it is. Here, Dick. Here, here, Dick. You got him? That didn't take very long. Nope. Son. Easy on him now. Jake's known to horse a fish or two. Little trick. Right. Hold them upside down. They won't wiggle. Look at that. You got anything you want to say to your fans? Pretty big one. <laughs> Pretty big one. All right, come here and let him go nice and easy right off the side of the boat. They're not going to last that's, very long. That's a buffet line, Golden Corral style.
these little old salties have been sold out forever and they're back in stock now. So I promise you, if you want one, you better order it now because they won't last long. Everything you need to know about them will be in the link in the description below this video. Hold on. Lay them down nice and gently. Let me show them where that circle hook is. Right In the here. corner of its mouth. Let's pop it out of them. All right, ease him back in the water. Nice and easy. See you later, buddy. Thanks, Jake. Uh, you're not gonna tell me you're fighting one? Apparently not. <laughs> you're busy letting one go. Nice fish. Jake. Would you call this a good snook bite? Pretty much, yeah. Look at Adam, he done broke out the rod too. Leave a comment below if you've ever been to the Stick Marsh Bait and Tackle. <laughs> oh, you got one? Son, you're like Jake, y'all don't like the fun of fighting one, do you? Not when they're 10 inches long. Mine's bigger than the rest of them. He's got to get close to the camera. You got to get him up there closer to the trees. Y'all see how important these things are? No need for an anchor. When you take these chummies like that and you see how the shoreline is, see that tree leaning out about 10 foot farther? Take a couple handfuls and sling them. You squeeze them just lightly though so they don't swim off as fast as they normally would. And the snook will start to feed like crazy. Good fish. All right, this time you gotta hold the rod and get the fish by yourself. Okay, I can do that. We got a double. You got a tree, don't you? Yeah. Where are you going? Look, I'm fighting my fish. Perfect, right in the corner of the mouth. What's that, like your fourth one already? Yeah. See ya. Just like bass fishing though, like cast out there. Woo. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's back. He's back. We've been fishing for less than 10 minutes and we've already caught about a dozen snook. Here comes I promise already. you, if you do what I'm teaching you how to do, you can come out here with your kids and catch snook all summer long. All right, well once again today, like the last about two and a half, three weeks, it's blowing 25 and a huge squall's coming in. So we put my bimini top up. Look at that. It's every time we go snow fishing. It's what? Every time we go snow fishing, it rains. <laughs> one of the best things about living in Florida is one minute is storming nasty and cloudy and the other minute it's bright and sunny and you gotta get your glasses back on. Dang, that's a big one. Nice fish. That quick? Yep. Son, that didn't even take a minute. All right, stop reeling. Let me hold the rod. You get him off the hook. Hold him up in your armpit. Are you having fun or what? Yeah. All right, turn him loose. You guys, this is the same rod that I was just catching shell crackers and bluegill on. And now we're catching pretty nice sized snook. Look at that. Absolutely no problem. 20 pound test beyond braid. This is my 
in Charles. Seven three eight to seventeen pound test fast action old salty. You cannot get a better combo. I'm trying my hardest though to not get it oh. in the salt water. You don't ever want your rod in salt water. Ow! Their gills are so sharp. Come here. Alright. Let me do it this way. Circle hook will always be in the corner or the top of their mouth. Shoo. See you later, buddy. All right, y'all, we just had some fans roll up. They came all the way from where? Ohio. Ohio, and they've never caught a snook. So I'm going to let her, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla, and what's yours? Danny. Danny. Kayla and Danny catch their first snook. Here, Kayla. Just hold that rod. Sorry. She's hooked up. She's hooked up. You're on a, you're on a, there you go. Get him. Take your time once you get him out of there. His gills will cut you. Sort of scoop him up in your arm. Look at the chummies he just spit up. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth. First Sweet. snuck. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Alright you guys, this has just been one of those educational style videos. Totally random, like I said earlier, we didn't plan on filming today. I saw this bait, I thought about it, and I know a lot of people could use this knowledge. I know it took me 30 years to figure out where to see the right bait, and then once you get the bait, what to do with it. So in this video, I thought I could show you all a fast forward version of that. Anytime you see any kind of birds diving, ease over real quietly to it and check it out and see what they're diving on. If they are diving on bait, figure out how to catch it. Then look around that area for trees in the water, mangrove islands, um, structure, rock piles. There should be predatory fish there. Use a small uh, circle hook, 40 pound test leader. You can use any rod you want. We use, that's Adam by the way. <laughs> His girlfriend Kim's behind the camera. Hi guys. This is my son Jake and if this is the first video of mine you're checking out, please subscribe and go back and check. I have tons of very good videos just like this. But back to the rod, this is my favorite rod, uh, Old Salty, with a little rush spinning reel that favorite makes as well. My cast net's a 10 foot black pearl cast net. It's called a chummy net. It's got some much smaller nesh, mesh than my bigger nets that I catch the sardines with and just come out here. It's gonna take some time for you to figure it out, but I promise you, if you watch this video, pay attention to details, you can come out here and do the same thing. Right? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes, sir. Hey, that's it for this video. I typically cook in my videos, but this one I'm not. My girlfriend, Kelly Young's on her way back from Pennsylvania. I'm ready to see her. And I gotta cook the hog from a giant bar hog that I killed the other day to finish that video. So right now, like Jake always says, what do you always say? We're getting the heck out of shape. See y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he needs to take one for the team. <laughs> yes, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it's been messed with Kim Day. She didn't even move. She did she took that. I saw what was coming. <laughs> I saw what was coming. We knew it was coming for about five minutes. <laughs> You guys, that's a camera woman at her finest. She never even flinched. <laughs>